Hi everyone. My name is April Windle, Chair of the Education Committee for the British Lichen Society and today marks the 10th anniversary for UK Fungus Day and we are delighted to be involved with the celebrations. Right now I'm in a local park in Manchester called Moss Bank and within this video I would like to provide an introduction to what lichens are and show you the top five lichens that I have found here today. Unbeknown to most, lichens sit within the biological kingdom fungi, but there are a very special type of fungus that have partnered up with either an algae or a cyanobacteria which come together to form the lichen itself. Within Britain and Ireland we have over 2,000 species of lichen and they are a really characteristic component of any habitat which you explore and they are proving particularly brilliant within this urban park right here. So without further ado, it's time to go for a little explore and see what we can find. The first lichen to make it into my top five is probably the most common lichen that we have here in Britain and Ireland. It's called the sunburst lichen or Xanthoria parietina and it forms these striking yellow to orange patches all over the twigs and all over the trunks. The reason it has this colour is because of a chemical pigment which is formed by the fungus and this chemical has a huge pharmaceutical potential where the chemical has been shown to stop the growth of tumour cells in laboratory conditions. So without a doubt it easily makes it into my top five. This oak tree here supports my second species of lichen and is one of the frost lichens called Visconia distorta. This lichen is really beautiful and has this lovely leafy green phallus and it's peppered in fruiting bodies and when you look really closely you'll see that it looks like the lichen has been sprinkled in ice and sugar and that's where it gets the name the frost lichen. Within this park I've recorded three species of frost lichen so this is one of the many species that contribute to the overarching biodiversity of the site. Lichen number three can be found growing on this leaning sycamore and here is one of the strap lichens which is also known as Ramelina farinacea and this species has a really three-dimensional appearance to it that looks extraterrestrial and you can see that the trunk here supports a fantastic population of this lichen. On the smooth bark on young trees you find a suite of crossdose lichens which form these distinct mosaics and this one here that resembles white paint, when you look closely you see a scattering of fruiting bodies which resemble jam tarts where the disc is a distinctly different colour to the margin and this is where the spores which are the single reproductive units of the lichen are kept. The final lichen to make it into my top five can be found at the base of this mossy trunk here and it's the pixie cup lichen or one of the cladonia species and when you look closely you can see a scattering of trumpet like structures and when you look down the hand lens it feels like you're being transported into an entirely different world. So that's it from me, a wholehearted thanks from myself and the British Lichen Society for watching this video and for getting involved. For more information surrounding UK Fungus Day, please head to the British Mycological Society's website.